take you to Lesotho now, where the newly established party, Revolution for Prosperity, has won the country's election without gaining an outright majority. The RFP, formed by businessman Sam Matikane in March this year, won 56 parliamentary seats. The Democratic Congress, led by Deputy Prime Minister Matibele Mokoto, came second with 29 seats, while the ruling Orba Soto Convention had only eight seats. The RFP will band together with other parties to reach 60 plus one seats required to form a coalition government. For more on this, we're joined by Irene Seme, the Soto Public Eye senior reporter. Very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for your time. We understand that uh, this morning already the three political parties held a media briefing to talk about uh, the, the coalition. Talk to us about uh, some of the reaction that came out of that. Okay, thank you very much, Mpo, for having me this afternoon. The reaction of people is very exciting. A lot of people seem to be excited about the outcome of this coalition, and they are expecting to see the promises that were promised to them during the campaigns ahead of elections. So, other than that, okay, yes, you can go so, ahead. So, what was sorry to, to interrupt you there? What were some of the, the very strong uh, sentiments that were echoed as campaigning took place because we know that uh, the RFP is a new party run by um, mm -hmm. so-called billionaire businessman who has really, really come out and he's uh, allowed crowds to come out in their numbers as he took to his campaigning. Yes. Uh, all the three parties have agreed mainly because their manifestos was much highlighting and focusing on the economic growth of the country and to develop the country and also to create employment, especially for young people, because the country, as we speak, it has a majority of graduates who are unemployed. So when it comes to expectations and some of the uh, sentiments that came out of the press briefing, what, what came out there? Okay, um, I think a, uh, a lot of us are looking into if what they promised will will do transpire as they form part of uh, as they form government uh, uh, and they go into parliament as the eleventh parliament. Also, we are looking into seeing how big or small the 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 cabinet will be because as um, Madagascar's led political party RFP was campaigning, they really promised that they will reduce the. Number, the number of seats in, in cabinet and that it will encourage the ministers to use their own vehicles. And even today he did say that he stands by his own words. And so these two parties that are coming in, they're coming in mainly as a, a silent partners and they're saying they, they are supporting everything. Uh, they are supporting RFP. They are, with, they are going to work together as one for the development of Lesotho, for better development of Lesotho and for the economic growth of the country, which is their main focus. For the past decade or so, we know that uh, coalition agreements, I mean, looking at the nature of coalitions in South Africa, that uh, mm. the, the ones in Lesotho have also suffered a few bashes with, uh, uh, mm. you know, proving to be fractious and frail. And, in fact, no premier has served out a full five-year term. Is there confidence mm. as the coalition comes together and prioritizes uh, the people of Lesotho? With this current one, people seem to be confident, but um, they're just saying we are, they are confident about this coalition, but they, they, they are hoping that they, it won't have the same backlashes as the previous coalitions, and they're hoping that it will last for five years. But they, they are doubt. People are confident, but they doubt. But they are confident and happy about the coalition. So, so there seems to be trust and um, uh, yeah, and optimism. Trust and optimism yeah. are on the ground around this. So uh, as the priority areas, I mean, you speak about uh, employment, which is a huge factor and a big challenge. What are the other areas that you think um, Basutu are hoping? will be um, you know, rectified and improved with this new government in place. The other point that people are looking into uh, the, is corruption, especially when it comes to particular ministries like Minister of Education and Home Affairs. Um, a lot of people are saying if they were immediately when they go into government, they can rectify some corruption cases that are happening in the Minister of Education and in Home Affairs. I, they'll be satisfied. That's, that's another optimistic view that people have with this government.
Very well. Thank you so much, Irene Seme, the Lesotho Public Eye newspaper reporter, giving us a sense of uh, some of the reaction coming out of Lesotho following the announcement of the new coalition government.